and welcome to Getting Your Money's Worth, I'm the show that focuses on value. I'm Judith West, and our guest today is Michael Bastian, yes, Vice President of LaGuardia Community College in New York City. Thanks for being on the show. Wonderful Bye. So before we go on a little bit, our show, our, our program is, goes out across planet Earth. Um, LaGuardia Community College is, is some kind of a place. I mean, you have Oh, which, which, a different, something like 50,000 students, yes. right? From how many different countries? 160 countries? 160 countries. countries. Speaking 100 different languages? Oh my gosh, how do you do it? And you're in charge of all 50,000. <laughs> how, do how do you do it? Well, it's really, uh, it's with care and skill and, and dealing with all these wonderful students that come a from A lot of love, I think. Oh, yes. A lot of love. Okay, so um, you, um, you're a two-year community college, yes. right? And um, how many of your, like, you're, and you, you must come every, and you also have under your umbrella of responsibilities financial aid. Yes, yes. Um, how many of your students get some kind of financial aid? Uh, well, more than 50% of our students are participating in our financial aid program. Uh, on average, the family incomes are about $24,000 for a family of four. And so what you find is so that... the average family income is about 20, under 25000 and they're sending their kid to college? Yes. Wow. Yes. And so we have a lot of students with really a lot of need, uh, and we're trying to meet those needs while they're at the college. Yeah. Well, the president of your college uh, wrote an article in response to all this, con uh, all this media press about the burden of student debt. It's a pretty big burden, isn't it, Michael? Oh, it sure is. The reality yeah. is so many students who are going to college are borrowing up to $100,000, and they might leave the college with that debt and thinking about their job prospects. Especially now. Absolutely. And it's so difficult to be able to go into the helping professions when you can't afford it because of the student loans that right. you have. Right. So you can't go into, th you can't go into things that we, where we need, where our needs are so great, like teaching. Absolutely. Or librarians. Absolutely. Or uh, some, some of the health care fields. Absolutely. Or, they just can't afford it. Or some of these services like police. I mean, just, 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 but the thing about student debt is, it's, it, I don't know that it's well understood by kids who take it out or pay The student debt never goes away. Right. If you because declare a bankruptcy, mm -hmm. it lives. And folks can have their, 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 their wages, their tax returns, everything garnished, right? Absolutely. And the reality is their ability to get a home their ability to purchase a car, their ability to really enjoy all of the benefits of their hard work, they wouldn't have access to it because well, can of that. Can we go to a basic question, Michael? Sure. Why does college cost so much? <laughs> well, it doesn't seem, I mean, how much, what's the tuition at your college? Our college is 2800 a year because we're a community college. Yeah. So community colleges and many public institutions are really an affordable alternative exactly. to and what's so happening. And, and talking about getting your money's worth, uh, a, a kid can get, his, can get his money's worth at your school. Absolutely. Schools like you. But in general, the, um, the college high school counselors and parents you know, to push their kids in other directions. Why do these schools cost so much? Well, they would tell you that in order to keep the facilities, they would tell you to compensate the professors and all of those sorts of things. And we have those same concerns. But what you'll find with the community college is that oftentimes the kind of programs that produce students with jobs at the conclusion of the program is really how students can get their money worth yeah. and many of our other institutions may not be able to provide the kind of remedial support and other supports that will help students right. the developmental well, so many, support. So many of the, of, of the FOIA schools, I mean they talk about their facilities I don't know if everybody needs those kind of facilities I mean the, these big beautiful buildings. So what? Well, what we're finding is that there These are a lot professors of that are tenured that have assistants teaching for them. So what? Well, what we're finding in our school is that our enrollment is actually on the increase I'm of many surprised. of the public institutions because they recognize the value of community colleges and the fact that it is a very good deal for the money because the reality is you can come, you can get a great two-year degree, you can satisfy many of your primary credits, and that will enable you to continue on to your bachelor's. So you 
can go to a two-year college. You can take all your basic skills or basic requirements for any four-year school. Absolutely. And you can and you can then transfer if you get good grades. Sometimes you can get into a I'd like to say it's into a brand, a better name school mm -hmm. because you've done very well in a community college than you might just from, as, from an entry into, as, a, as a senior from high school. The community college student is better prepared oftentimes to go into the four-year institution because they've had that training, that preparation, that support, and they have the confidence to continue in the four-year program. A, you know, a lot of your students work, don't they? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, right. yes. And they work and they still maintain. Well, it's a balancing act. And why the reason why we have programs that are flexible is because we recognize that some have to work, they have families, they have multiple responsibilities. And so they can take classes in the evening, they can take classes on the weekend. We try to make a flexible schedule at LaGuardia, for example, so that they can take some credits within an enhanced 18-week semester, so that they can take a smaller amount of credits in one semester and continue in, in the next uh, part of the semester right. and because we really want students to graduate. I was going to say, what is, what it, do you, most of your students graduate? Do you have a good rate of graduation at your school? We Michael? have one of the higher graduation rates of community college students uh, nationally, but we still want to do more. Uh, we still have too many students that leave the educational pipeline too early because of that family situation, because of that job situation, because of the realities of the economy. And one of the realities of this economy is we've gotten a different generation of students to come to the campus campus now because some have been downsized. So we're seeing more adult learners coming into the college, uh, as well as the high school students as well. So it's a mixture of students that we're finding coming into the college. Yeah. Uh, tell me something. There is a, I don't know, I'm not going to say it's a myth, but there is a belief in this, in this country, and I, research has proved it, that folks that go to college have, uh, have uh, earned more money in their, in mm -hmm. their careers. Um, maybe they they're, they're smarter parents. They have that they 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 get a better lifestyle for themselves. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, which means that everyone ought to have an opportunity to do that. After all, that's the American dream, isn't it? It sure is. Um, yet, so many folks can't. This kind, the, the way the college is set down, it it, it 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 even makes more this disconnect between the haves and the have-nots. You're a little bit of a, you're a gap in that. Well, the community college is the equalizer. Is the equalizer. Because that we have the point. door open, and we are bringing in students that otherwise would not have a chance to attend college and to get the opportunities that a college, uh, a college experience affords. And, and the other thing that's, that's very important is that we connect them with the jobs of the future. Ah. Because it's not enough for them uh, to uh, have a wonderful experience and then not be able to be employable at the end of that experience. Right. Uh, people need to be able to Can folks graduate from your college? A community college and go out and find have a, have a marketable skill. Absolutely. Give me a for instance. And we have, for example, our nursing program oh. is one of our most successful programs. And it's a program where they come in and get the actual skills necessary to move ahead in their career. Our paralegal studies programs and criminal justice programs. These are programs specifically designed to give those students the skills needed to actually go into the and world And then if they want to go on and become some other kind of a registered nurse or operating special nurse, they have some background, they can, they, they can work and they can go back to school or use credits to, to move themselves up the career ladder. Absolutely. We are that stepping stone, that solid foundation that gets them from where they are to where they want to be. Wow, that makes you pretty important, important in the community. Well, it certainly makes us proud. I can believe that. So you, do you, you get kids from all boroughs of New York City? Absolutely. Yeah. And while the majority come from Queens at our institution, because we're located in Queens, we have students from the five boroughs and New Jersey. And New Jersey, okay. <laughs> well, well, pretty soon you may expand even beyond that. So what, are, what, what kind of qualifications do kids have to get to come to your school? We prepare the students at their level of preparation. So when they come to the, to our campus, we do testing and evaluation to determine exactly what their skill level is. And we have, there may be some that are in need of, of developmental education programs. We have those programs in place for them so that we really try to make sure that every support possible for them to be successful is in place. So getting back to our um, 
or a beginning theme of that, um, the burdens of student debt, you see yourself as a alternative. Absolutely. Is that, is, that, is that fair to say? Absolutely. You see yourself as an alternative. In fact, I see the community college in particular as a co the college of choice for many people who want to make a good start and to be able to do it in an affordable fashion. One of the great things about community colleges that there are so many located where the people live, live. Right. and so they don't have to go far and wide. Many community colleges are right in the community where people live. Yeah, which is also a beauty, especially now with the cost of commuting, $5 a gallon <laughs> gas and the, the, on top of, on top of everything, everything, on top of everything else. Um, yeah, it, it makes you wonder why more folks don't do it. Uh, the, 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 the monkey on your back of, of graduating with a hundred, what did you say, hundred thousand dollars in debt? hundred thousand dollars of about debt. That, right. Is awesome. And it's scary when you think that the opportunities that we want for our children, that they would be homeowners, uh, that they would be able to purchase a car, that they would be able to have something for retirement. That we have, that they'd be, be able to, uh, to afford to live. Absolutely. Right. That's a really, really scary prospect when you're coming out the door with because the $100,000 Because the student debt does impact your credit scores and your ability to, uh, to borrow and and it may even show up in terms of a job interview. Absolutely, that is, that is critically important. And, and we need to develop the kind of financial literacy um, distribution chains so that people really know that, that this is not a free ride. We have a lot of college students that sign up for these loans and many of our And they don't know what they're signing up for. They have no idea of what the ultimate burden is gonna be at the back end. And if you haven't had much experience navigating an educational system, you don't have parents who can help you, advise you? Once you sign on that dotted line, for some, they could be signing away their future. Really? Really? Yeah. You know, I just want to touch on briefly because I think there's some misconception about our community. What is a for-profit college? Mm. Well, for-profit colleges primarily are career-oriented in nature. Um, and what, what you'll find... And in certainly very different from what... A community college. Absolutely. Okay, I'm get I think what you'll find with the for profit colleges, as in any industry, there are those that are probably a little bit more reputable than others. But what we have found is that the default rate it's of very... student loans for those students who are not able to complete the for profit colleges is astronomical. It's very high. And that will definitely have an impact on those students' ability to move forward in and their lives. It also has an impact on the whole general mood of government funding for, 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 for colleges. The, and the other downside, of course, is that very often uh, vocations that folks train for and borrow for don't even exist when they get out there. Absolutely. And, and you want to be able to have an educational experience where at the conclusion of that experience you can be employable. Well, of course. And that the right. industry is there well, so that you can actually well, move I, that's what it. Give you your, that's what gives you your pride in your student body, isn't it? To, to see them graduate and go out and become independent. Absolutely. I have to ask you, the apple on your lapel. That is uh, one of the logos of LaGuardia. How did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> and you'll notice that there are all of the different flags on the right. apple because we really are the world's community the, college. The, the world's science. community college. Well, thank you for being, for being on the show. I really appreciate it. And um, you, really, you really are a force in helping folks achieve the American dream. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. I'm Judith West, host of Getting Your Money's Worth and to your community college. Think about it very hard. It's a very good alternative to a lot of debt on your back. Thanks for being on the show and thanks for watching.